We are a very international group. On average, 30 people, day in, day out, partners, associates, paralegals, PAs, personal assistants, interns, of course, all these people have to speak English. If English is not their native tongue, they have to have an excellent level of English. They need to be able to draft in English. So that's what it means, essentially, to be an international arbitration lawyer at Freshfields. Of course, you need to have a passion for international arbitration because that's what we like above all. Typically you can expect to work on three types of cases. International commercial arbitration, that is disputes between large commercial operators. Investors to state arbitration, that concerns disputes between an investor and a host state. And also state to state disputes that are not always technically arbitration. These could be cases that would be argued before the International Court of Justice. This is also a key area of our practice. Interns and junior associates work, first of all, together. They work as a team. They work as part of a larger ensemble, which is comprised of partners, senior associates. No one ends up locked in a room with an assignment without having a good understanding of the bigger picture. So first response is they work in a team environment. Well, they do all sorts of legal uh, tasks, starting with legal research, of course, because we love legal research. Partners also do legal research. They also work on drafting parts of legal memoranda, they work on drafting parts of legal arguments, uh, they also work on fact gathering. It's an intensive part of our work, we need to get the facts right, not only the law right. So in a sense this is what junior associates and interns do, all under the supervision of more senior, more qualified people and again in the context of a team. We love working with other practices and we love to work with other offices. The International Arbitration Group has offices in many jurisdictions and we work daily with all those offices. We work on large arbitrations, large cases that require the involvement of many lawyers throughout the globe. Arbitration is not a standalone uh, practice, it generally needs support from of groups of expert lawyers, for example, antitrust lawyers or tax lawyers, and of course, corporate and finance lawyers. <music>